Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sunco 737B battery spot welder. So I bought this on eBay for a little bit less than $100. And if you search on eBay, there are not a lot of sellers sell this. And so you don't have a lot of options here. So as you can see here, these are the accessories that the spot welder came with in the box. So we got a manual, four small bags of uh, nickel strips. These are 10 centimeter long and these are different kinds of nickel strip. And also in this bag we got two fuses and four electrodes. So I already installed the two electrodes on here. So it got two spare copper electrodes in this bag. And also we got a 18650 holder. This can hold six cells. And this one is pretty nice. It's got magnet right on the holder. So you have your battery on here. It will stick and it does not fall out. That's pretty cool. It also comes with a foot pedal switch. So you plug this on the unit like so and you can power from uh, under your desk so you can use your foot to weld so you can free up your hands so when I press the button here you see we activate the power switch the nickel strips they come in four bags and each bag has got quite a few of these um, so they come in uh, 0 0.15 millimeter thick 0 0.1 millimeter thick and um, I believe this is 0.2 millimeter thick. And also, this one is uh, also 0.15, but it's uh, wider. The problem with this is that they're only 10 centimeters long. So that's just enough to weld six cells together. So you need to make something longer. You're going to have to take another strip and weld on top. Of the previous uh, strip. Now let's take a look at the unit itself. It is surprisingly uh, compact and lightweight. It weighs only about nine pounds and the dimensions are uh, about nine inches this way, nine inches this way and about uh, say six inches this way. When it first arrived in the box it doesn't have the welding electrodes installed, so uh, you have to install the electrodes yourself. But that's uh, relatively easy. Uh, it comes with a wrench here. So you just have to remove a couple of screws here. And then you insert the electrodes here. These are copper electrodes. And as you can see over here, I've got a couple of rubber bands on each side. And then uh, I use a zip tie and tie these two metal bars together um, because they are a little bit far apart and that makes the electrodes a little bit far apart so um, you take a look at the positive terminal here um, it's quite small and if the electrodes are too far apart uh, it can't reach so that's why I have to use a um, zip tie to tie the two electrodes closer together and then uh, I use rubber bands on each side to uh, insulate the two sides because you don't want them to touch, right? It will short out. On the top here, we got a welding pressure adjustment knob. So um, you can turn this clockwise or counterclockwise. So this knob here is for controlling the pressure of the electrodes onto the welding spots. So let me demonstrate here. So it depends on the thickness of the nickel strip that you will need to put more or less pressure onto the welding spot. So with a nickel strip like this one here, it's only 0.1 millimeter. And I don't have to apply a lot of pressure onto the welding spot. So what I do is I can adjust the knob here to minimum by turning it counterclockwise. Okay. And then uh, let me demonstrate here. Just make a weld right now. There we go. If I have a much thicker strip here, this one is 0.2 millimeter. It's twice as thick. So I have to adjust my knob here uh, by turning 
clockwise so that see let me, let me show you when I turn this um, see the whole arms goes down when I turn it clockwise see that way when you push it up you have to go further distance before it activate the switch so you can uh, put more pressure onto the welding spot before it actually uh, weld together. Under the electrode arms, see there are four very bright LED, two brights that when I use my battery, it's usually metal, right? It's very reflective. Um, it's actually shine straight to my eyes. And it's, it's, it's very bright. I can't even see actually see the welding spot you can see there it's very bright so actually I think when I have to use a diffuser of some sort maybe a, a piece of uh, paper and tape it on the lighting because it's way too bright so over here you can see the screen of the unit let me zoom in you see more clearly okay so you see this number here uh, it represents the current, but it's not the uh, the actual current. It's not 40 amp. It's 40 percent compared to the full current the unit can give out. So uh, you can adjust it. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, up to 99. So I I can't go up anymore. So you can only go up to 99. And again, this number is the percentage of full current, not the current itself. So if I put 95, right, that means 95% of full current, not 95 amp. Over here on the left, you see P2. That's actually the number of pools when it welds. So for example, when I weld this to my battery, when I push on the switch here, okay, it will actually uh, turn on the switch twice instead of once. So it's actually really, really tight. I can't pull it off. So um, this will turn on and off twice instead of once. And you can adjust it either P2 or P1. Okay. With P1, it only turns on the switch once, but it's going to be really fast, so you won't be able to see either uh, it's once or twice. See, it looks exactly the same because the pulls is really, really fast. But P2 will give you a better weld because it actually does it twice. Let's see how good the weld is. very very good I can only pull it off with a pair of pliers and this is the spot that it welded you can see it actually penetrates through the nickel strip onto the metal plate here so that was the skinniest strip that was provided with the spot welder now let me try a thicker one so over here I've got this one is 0.15 millimeter it's a little bit thicker and this is for applications where you need to have a lot of current going through your battery so you're gonna need a thicker wire so with this first you gotta do is to increase the pressure so you have to turn this knob here uh, clockwise a little bit so you can put more pressure on the welding spot when you push this up right and also you have to turn this uh, pulse current up a little bit and for me I prefer to use P2 because it will give me a better weld so I'm gonna go to P2 and then increase the current up to I would say between 65 and 70 percent so let's try 65 first see if it works okay see it doesn't stick so just increase the current to 80 percent 
and I've turned the knob a little bit so increase the pressure on the welding spot here. Let's give it a try. Solid weld. I can't pull it out. You can see on the welding spots here the two round dots. Those are from the electrodes. So it actually went through the nickel strip and onto the metal plate down here. So that was the 0.1 and 0.15 millimeter thick. Now let's try 0.2 millimeter thick strips here, see how it works. So this 0.2 millimeter thick nickel strip is the thickest strip that is provided with the welder. And with this, I've tried 80% and uh, it didn't work well, so I have to increase up to almost maximum 95%. And I also have to turn this knob here clockwise, like this, to maximum, so that uh, I can get maximum pressure uh, on the welding spot. Okay, let's give this a try. You ready? doesn't work really well right so let's give it a try here ready the current is <laughs> very strong see my light it does flicker a little bit did it just come out <laughs> not very strong way out let's try one more time ready current is very strong makes my light flicker but not very strong welds we try a couple welds in the same spot see if that will make it better doesn't work. So as you can see this welder doesn't work really well with 0.2 millimeter thick uh, nickel strips even though they provide the strip but uh, it doesn't really work really well but it does work well with 0.15 millimeter and 0.1. There's one thing I need to mention that uh, you've seen me holding this metal strips here and then uh, activate the switch right through very high current, high enough to melt nickel, right? And um, I didn't get shocked, right? So let me demonstrate how safe this is. Um, just don't try this, okay? Uh, just trying to demonstrate so you don't have to do it. So, but don't try this, okay? So is it gonna wear my hand? Let's try this, okay? I'm gonna push it up with my finger, see that? doesn't melt my hand but it's dry right but your fingers wet it's going to be a different story but again don't try this it's very dangerous I also found out on the bottom here there is a piece of metal sticking out and then I noticed when I uh, activate the switch uh, when I move this up to activate the switch this moves along with the arms you see that see this this moves up along with the arm when I move the arms up so if I just push this down here it also activates the switch see that I'm not sure what this is for it doesn't say anything in the manual um, let me demonstrate here that I can just um, weld it without activate this switch okay so I just slightly hold this together right I'm not pushing it up uh, too much to activate the switch now I just push the button on the bottom here and it will activate the switch and weld it's 
actually a good welt. Penetrate through the nickel strips. It's got a hole down here, so I guess you can thread a string through and then uh, see, pull it up. You can activate the switch so you can get your hands free or not. I don't know. Maybe that's another use for the switch. And also, the third way to activate the switch is to use a foot pedal switch. So let me plug this in. When you have this plugged in, you cannot activate the switch up here anymore. So let me demonstrate here. See that? This doesn't blink. That means it's not activating. That's because this is plugged in. So you have to use this to activate the switch. See that? See that blinks? There we go. So let me demonstrate with a foot switch. Push up here. Okay. Ready? There's smoke coming out. Very good weld. I can't pull it out. There's also another limitation with this spot welder. Is that if you have a thick battery pack like this one here. Um, you cannot weld up to this point. You, you can only reach so far. This welding arm is only so long that would allow you to reach so far. Uh, but beyond this point here, you cannot weld this part here on the battery pack. Um, you can turn around for this one. But if you have something like a Tesla battery pack, it's huge. Um, you cannot turn around like that. So this is as far as it can go. And in order to remedy that, you need something like this. It's called an electronic spot welding solder pan. So you plug this onto the spot welder and you have this part here that can reach out further than the arms you've got here. The problem is this is almost $50. Almost half the price of the spot welder. And then also on this spot welder there's nowhere you can hook up the pan onto the spot welder. But looking at this, I think I can figure out a way to do it. If I have to. So stay tuned. So overall, I think it is a very good spot welder for the money. Um, it does have some limitation. Um, it cannot weld 0.2 millimeter nickel strip very well. But I can overcome that by using two thinner nickel strips. Um, I can just weld one strip on the top here first. And then weld another one on top of the first one. So now I got a thicker nickel strip if I have to. And the second limitation is the short arm, right? That can be remedied with what, $50 or some ingenuity. Stay tuned. But with this machine, you can save a lot of time putting this together. And it takes me, I would say a few seconds, put all this together instead of minutes by just soldering like I used to. And also, it doesn't put stress on the battery because the heat applied on the battery is limited as opposed to using uh, soldering iron. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat when you apply on the battery. And that is all for now. Um, let me show you this one here. If you watch my other videos, you probably recognize this box here. I've got my 91 cells ready to go for a 13S7P uh, e-bike battery pack and I can't wait to use the uh, spot welder uh, to make the battery pack for my e-bike. So I'll show you in my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.